<laughs> okay, fellas, today we have something completely different because while this may look like a firearm, legally it is not. This is actually a muzzle loader. So while it does have fire that, you know, makes the bullet come out, you can get this 50 cal shipped right to your door. And we got that done with our sponsor, Shields. So go check them out. Anything you want outdoor like, if you like hiking or biking or fishing or shooting and hunting, all those things, you can go check them out at Shields. We'll have a link down below. This 50 caliber rifle is a CVA Acura L. RX and it has a 30 inch Bergera barrel in it and so we're gonna see what we can hit today and see what kind of power it has all right we're gonna try for that LaRue target at a hundred yards see if we're good enough I heard it but I can't see beans through the smoke with muzzle loaders it's a bit slower you know how fast I'm used to shooting normally so really having to slow down today after every so often like say three or four shots we got to even clean this thing but for those of you who have not shot a muzzle loader let's go over some of the basics <laughs> So our cold cartridge that normally gets to load in a modern firearm we have in pieces over here. The first piece, and even this is cheating some, if you're looking at the old school pouring powder down a barrel, we have the 777 pellets from Hornady that we can now drop in. These power belt bullets are 295 grains, and that's the small ones. We take our carbon fiber ramrod and stick it all the way in. This ramrod is really cool though because it doesn't mount to the rifle because uh, that would kind of mess up your accuracy kind of like a bayonet so this goes in a pouch that you just keep on your belt and then you just voila kind of neat finally our ignition is going to be a winchester 209 primer this has two breech plugs for two different types of primers one is the black horn but we have just regular 209s pull the hammer back and we're ready to go the trigger weight on this was under three pounds so not too shabby so what we'll do is make sure we're on at 100 and then see how far out we can reach after that and I'm just now realizing how long it's gonna take just to put three rounds on a steel plate. <laughs> Stinking reloads. <laughs> and now the delay as the smoke clears. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Let's shoot a group though. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's in the same hole. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait for all that smoke so I can see through it. I've got a small group. Let's go check it. It's a bit of power because it's still rocking when we walk the whole way up, but we have one, two, three within two inches of each other. That's pretty impressive. I haven't played around with the modern muzzle loaders yet, but I like that. I mean, I, I can see why people hunt with it. So I'm gonna scoot it, I'm gonna center it, and then we'll go from there. Nice. 165 yards out there, we have a Buffalo. It's a target by Made Targets, and we have a promo code, I believe, we'll put down in the description. Let's see if we can get that Buffalo. Oh, it's a gut shot. It was a little low right. Uh, we, we, we got him, though, we got him. Furthest target we have down range is th almost 300 yards at 270. We're gonna just give it some oomph and see what happens. I mean, it's a slow bullet. It's under 2,000 feet per second, but if we hit it, we'll see a green blinky light. Nice! Now where did I hit it? Oh! Dead stinking center! I'd put the tip of the, the last BDC on top of the head. So that's quite some drop. It's a fast, fun, slow bullet, but it's also accurate. That's neat. You're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. If it's threaded, let's put a suppressor on it. I think it's for a muzzle break. How about power? So we have an old ballistic block there. Uh, and I mean old, it's got Lego heads and BBs in it. Let's see if this goes all the way through or what. <laughs> or what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you hear stuff hitting in the background? All I noticed was the flash that Joe made. Have you saw that with your naked eye? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think it went clear through this joker. So, if you want to see what a Lego head does on a 10 millimeter, you can go see that old video, but that's the only thing we found in here. It must have gone clear through this joker. That's some power. 295 grains, cool. 
And we gotta take this thing apart around every three or four rounds because it's so dirty we can't push the bullet all the way, get it all the way seated. We're using the barrel blaster kit from CVA. Same thing I got from Shields in the same order. And uh, that's definitely a something don't just think you buy a rifle and get good to go. You gotta get all the accessories. 50 cal versus tree, but muzzle loader edition. Let's see if we can go through that about eight inch tree. Bark fell off everywhere. I mean, it went so well through that gel. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we made it through. Wow. Okay, so it went at least that far. Well, that's not that far, but that's all we got. So it's in there somewhere. What's stopping us from putting two or three bullets in this barrel? I gotta say, that's some fun power, guys. So if you want a muzzle loader shipped right to your door, go check out Shields. Now they have a lot more than just muzzle loader. Like I said, all your outdoor needs, you can check them out there. But that is all for the Acura LRX with that Bergera barrel. Thanks for stopping by today, guys. Okay, bye-bye.